Hi, I'm Ted Bear. I'm the author of Communicating with Your Dog, which is available on Amazon. Thanks for coming to the channel. I have links, by the way, to all my videos down in the description section below. Make sure you check out the first video. It talks about the importance of sharing an actual language with your dog. Occasionally, I hear people say they're going to send their dog off and have it trained. Well, although it has some success doing that, if you want your dog to really listen to you, you must participate in its training. Behind every obedient dog is an owner that loves their dog and trains their dog. Rule number 12, allow your dog to be good. If you're leaving your dog home alone with an overflowing kitchen trash can, you're just asking for trouble, especially if last night's remnants of a chicken dinner are in there. If your dog has a good time once, it could turn into a weekly adventure. It's negligence on your part, and it might apply to many things that cause you to be upset with your dog, and it's your fault, perhaps. If you've left a sandwich on the table to go answer a knock at the door, it might not be there when you come back. Your dog received a tasty reward and will try it again. Try to remove all temptations. If your dog likes to chew on a particular throw rug, well, remove the rug when you're not in the room and replace it when you are. And if your dog even walks over to sniff it, uh, all heck should break loose and you should be mad at your dog. Allow your dog to be good. Place china and other breakables out of the reach of your dog's tail. If you leave food near the edge of a counter, you're tempting your dog needlessly. The only time you should leave temptations out for your dog is when you're there to make a correction. If you're having a sandwich in the family room while watching TV and hanging out with your dog, before you finish that sandwich, Leave a little bit of it on your plate and leave it on the coffee table and walk out of the room. Peek into the room and watch your dog. If your dog goes to sniff it, well then you race back in mad as all heck and scold your dog. If after a couple minutes your dog hasn't budged toward your sandwich, well then, go back in and praise the heck out of your dog and even reward your dog with a tidbit. People are terrific at watching dangerous situations and things in a house with young children. Just be aware of your dog as well. Avoid developing or encouraging behavior problems. Allow your dog to be good. Please subscribe. It will benefit everyone, especially your dog and check out my other videos.